Hi everybody. So, um, I'm making this video because I want to kind of uh, share my journey into the field of anesthesia. I've chosen to um, become an anesthesiology assistant. That path is very interesting to me. I started uh, thinking about um, nursing and the business of nursing and then that led to physician's assistant and then that led to AA. So kind of my backstory is I've been my own boss. That's the shirt. Voila, jefe, that's me. Woo -woo. Okay, so la jefa. Excuse me, not la jefe, la jefa. That's me, yeah. So anyway, um, I work as a paramedical esthetician in my own business. So I've kind of uh, practiced some medical things along with well, quite a few medical things. Actually, I deal with cancer patients and people with hair loss conditions and I do eyelash extensions. I'm the bomb at microblading. You can check out my Instagram, um, microblading Jacksonville and uh, Kobe Ellis lash and brow beast. Anyway, um, I'll put those in the comment section below. Okay, so anyway, um, my sons are adults now, 19 and 25, and I decided it's time for me to do something different. Because I'm starting to feel a little bit of carpal tunnel. My posture isn't the best anymore because I'm always leaning forward over a person, you know? Um, eyelash extensions, things like that. You're always leaning forward, and I'm feeling that aching, and now I have to wear glasses. And I didn't have to do those things when I first started, but I'm 48. So this video is for uh, encouragement to those who are deciding to go into a different field at this stage in your life. Um, middle age, deciding to do something different can be really scary. And some of us get stuck and we ride that decline, you know, and you find yourself in a bad situation. Well, I don't want to do that. I'm pretty good at watching things move on the board I'm, and I'm pretty good at staying five steps ahead. So this is me. I still love what I do for a living, but it's taking its toll on my body. So it's time to do something different. So anyway, I have chosen a school and I'm now taking my prereqs. There were eight prereqs that I needed to take um, on the list for the school that I chose to attend. And I want to kind of get them out of the out of the way really quickly instead of doing the uh, twelve to fifteen week courses. So that way, I didn't waste as much time. Now, there's a caveat to that: the school that I am attending is Doan University, but there are many schools out there that offer uh, medical school prereqs. I, at the uni at the junior college or at a university, you're gonna pay about maybe between four fifty and five fifty per class for a twelve to fifteen week course. Well, schools like Doan offer eight week courses. The caveat is the price. So I think my calculus class was sixteen hundred, and everything else has been sixteen sixty six per class per eight weeks and I take three of them at a time and try to get them out of the way as quickly as I can so you want to keep that I don't know what this is just oh, okay so anyway you want to keep that in mind um, when you're choosing if you want to go faster to get rid of those classes then you know go ahead because my undergraduate study was in English and I did some psychology and business courses that helped me with my business it really did but um, it's not helping me with this. I have to go back and take all of these sciences. So I'm acing them. I have A's in all of my courses. Woo -woo. Yeah. So I, and I'm happy about that. I think it has something to do with me being older and um, more committed than I was when I was younger. You know, things like that. So anyway, there's some schools out there I want to share with you that um, uh, offer the AA program because there aren't that many. I want to start by saying I think Morehouse 
offers it. I know they have PA, but some of my research shows that they have the, they, they now offer anesthesiology assistant, AA. So I have uh, on my list here, Nova Southeastern University. Well, Nova has three campuses, Fort Lauderdale, Tampa, and Jacksonville. And then Case Western University, Emory Riddle, University of Missouri, uh, Kansas City School of Medicine. There's this one, I don't really know how to pronounce it. And maybe I should have Googled it before I started. Q-U-I-N-N-I-P-I-A-C University. Somebody help me out there. Okay. Uh, South University, South University of Savannah, Medical College of Wisconsin, um, Emory, Emory Riddle University, uh, University of Colorado, Denver, Indiana University School of Medicine, Frank H. Netter, MD School of Medicine. And there could be some others out there. Just, just do your research. Everybody requires something different. Like the school in Texas, I believe that is Case Western. They want 100 hours of, um, of uh, observations. Nova only wants eight. I think Morehouse is like uh, 60 hours or so all the schools are different. You know, all the prereqs, some of them, the, the schools vary, you know, as to what they want. Uh, some of them specify what score they want you to make on the GRE and the MCAT. If you need to take both or one, they prefer, I think, um, like Case Western will not take your old courses like I took biology years ago in school they won't take that unless you take another entrance exam to get into their program so they know that you're still uh, retaining you've retained that stuff that you learned in biology years back I think they're the only school that does that though I'm not sure um, don't quote me on it you know just do your research when it comes to that anyway they're also um, not a lot of states that recognize the AA degree yet, but it's growing. The list is growing. That's good. Because um, it seems like there's this battle going on with CRNAs and AAs and CRNAs and anesthesiologists and CRNAs may be winning out of their edging out a little bit on the AAs. I'm, I'm sorry, on the on the anesthesiologist, um, which puts AAs in a better position along the way. There's maybe a fifteen to $20,000 uh, pay difference between sometimes only 10. There are places where AAs and CRNAs get paid almost the same. So it's just about where you go to work. Um, I chose the AA route because to become a CRNA, you had to, I would have to become a nurse then practice as a nurse then go back to school then practice again and then go to crna program and in that crna program they're going to be doing the same stuff that i'm doing in the aa program and i'm 48 so the pay cut was okay for me it's just okay i chose not to do the pa route although it offers a lot of autonomy you can write prescriptions you can go off on your own crnas now uh, in some areas can go off on their own, but AAs, nowhere can we go off on our own. We have to work under a physician. Uh, we can't practice alone. There's no autonomy like that. I think from my research, like there's an anesthesiologist that lives across the street from me and he was saying the only autonomy that he's ever noticed for AAs is that if there's an emergency in another room, then he has to go to that room. So you're left on your own for that little bit of time. That's about it. As far as autonomy goes um, there's no business to this license like there is to nursing and CRNA and PA there's no business to it at all but my decision was based on my passion for the field coupled with my age and married with um, my expensive habits I like labels Ooh, I do and now that I don't have to pay um, private school tuition anymore Woo okay there is just me and then also you know you got to save you don't want to work forever my mom retired 
quite well at 52. So I'm not near that yet. Uh, but anyway, I'm getting there. I'm doing pretty good. My business has done well for me, but I'm changing. So anyway, I am welcoming you. Come on. Go on this journey with me. Uh, I have one more semester left and then yeah all right so I'll check back in when I start writing this essay and creating my resume and things like that for entrance into medical school <laughs> I'm so excited okay Come along. See you next time. Bye.